What is up, y'all? This is your man, Arthur Hamilton, the host of Blunts and Brunch with Arthur Hamilton. Y'all, season one is over. I know I didn't tell y'all, but uh, that shit is wrapped the fuck up. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much for watching it. I was going to do like a season finale, but then I had to go to Arizona. I had to get my chakras right, so a nigga just left. I had to go get my shit together. It was really fun, man. Arizona was like a second home to me. I started comedy out there. You know, I have a lot of friends that are like family to me out there. So I had to go out there, chill, did some shows. Y'all, I'm with my nigga John, and we just got hella high. We gonna get higher. But right now, we going to motherfucking raise canes, nigga. Whole lot of cane shit about to happen. I can't wait. <laughs> You guys have a great day. Hey, you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's having a great day at the drive thru Like, yo, 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 got that chicken to go. And then fucking shit up. <laughs> Secure the bag, motherfucker. And we did it. Pretty amazing. That was a pretty nice hole. Baby. And I got the baby. Baby. I have to tell the world. I have to tell y'all the fucking. I ain't even touched the chicken yet. This bread with this sauce. Mm. 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 Do it. <laughs> hey, everybody, bro. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, thank you, uh, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for coming out. I do appreciate it. It's a farewell show. It was everything I could ask for and more. So thank you so much. Round of applause for yourself. Yo, we pulling up. Me and John uh, to meet up with Maria, John's girlfriend. I'm um, pulling up to his rich ass white lady's house. Nigga. We up in the hills, nigga. Ooh. Y'all, I'm in a rich lady house. Look at that goddamn fridge. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have to show you the view really quick. The view is amazing. And yes, that's a 60 inch screen outside. The wine cellar. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say what's up. Tell them who you are. Juliet, what's up? <laughs> Look, you guys. Look at that big ass Christmas tree. Yes, it's March uh, 11th. And yes, the Christmas tree's still up. But I wouldn't take that big ass Christmas tree down either. Fuck that. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's a coat going there. Get okay, off. you guys may have found out that it was not a rich white lady, she is Indian. But she's Canadian. And she was born in South America. And she was born no. in South America? No. I think she's Canadian. So she was from she's South America. <laughs> no, wait. Does she live in South America? No. Julia. John's got it wrong. John's got it wrong. Okay. She is Indian. Okay. And, oh yeah, she's from Vancouver. It's been a good, chilling, relaxing day. I've been zipping around. Went to see my good friend after a long time. Now to my friend's mom's house for some good ass fucking food. I gotta pick up the truck first though. Wait, wait, wait for it. There it goes, baby. Yeah, they, they gave him a stand. They said, bro, it was running fine, so they just gave him a stand. So he wrote T's house. Check out the R1 too, nigga. Lord so have mercy. Friday night. Lord have mercy. He was like, man, I, I think I'm about to get it to Just did Talk is Deep, episode 10. With my nigga, Nathaniel Butler. Shit is real. Too real. <laughs> so, I want to talk to you about your show, uh, Blunt. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. you're hitting me, man. <laughs> I can't even say. <laughs> I'm like, Blunt. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Blunt. I'm like, Blunt. Oh, my gosh. Blunt. 
the butts in a brunch. Oh my god. So I, I watch it. <laughs> I watch it like I said earlier. Um, I want to know what was the inspiration behind it. I'm going to go take a dude. Gina. Oh yeah, y'all. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Dapper. Sorry. <laughs> if this lady gets on my last nerve, Richard Simmons, you flaming fag. Die, die, die. Good thing for him, Stephen's low in calories. Damn fine, man, nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. Yeah. I hear kick your ass. Watch this nigga. I knew something was going on when I saw the white hair. I was like, hold on. Either this nigga's a mutant, or we gotta watch this nigga. <laughs> okay, that's what's up, Did you see Get Out? I do. Woo! I'm glad you think it's scary as a white woman. Oh my god, we do this to black people? Oh shit! Nigga! Woo! Yeah, my nigga, go ahead. Now they're looking at you like, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> White girl, like, do you know him? Yeah, 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 I know him. I, let me talk to him real quick. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Woo, you got Spider Man draws on too, my nigga? Oh, oh, damn. He's like, yeah, dog, I got him all right here. Okay, sure. Look, you look. <laughs> hey, uh, interesting uh, crowd. Appreciate you. Uh, at this time, we'd like to Appreciate have all bro. the comics that perform come up on stage. If you, uh, you guys came out to see somebody, you can commemorate the moment by taking a picture of them. So, uh, all the comics that perform. <laughs> Shit, that was funny. Everybody just... watch your dick, okay? Watch your dick. Everybody use <laughs> baby wipes. A dope motherfucking night. I'm tripping right now. Hold on. <laughs> yes, tonight was a dope night. And I'm back here tomorrow for another show. For another dope night. Let's do it, Howard. Don't hesitate. I won't be making a special tomorrow. And I know I won't see you next Saturday. Unless tickets in the audience for the CD. Yo, in the box. yo. Shout out to the homie. Host it. Show it. My nigga Alex here is right there. You know what I'm saying? That's what my nigga B. Like, Shout out to everybody. Uh, y'all, I had these niggas pull up on me. I'm, I'm still here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let me get another candy. Cool, and, like, they all talk to me you know what I'm saying? Just, like, uh, fucking, like, living my yeah. truth. Living my truth, nigga. To you by Nike socks. The furthest hit to come on the stood. Oh, shit. Way out to the right. right. I've been doing great this whole tournament. He's four under. Oh my. Keep it down. Here we go. Get in the hole. You're going for it. He's on one, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to be a witness to the onish of John Hodgkins. Oh my God. I look like an anime character. I got long luscious hair, but I beat your ass. Went camping, that shit was lit as fuck, man. I've been going for the past five years, and it ain't gonna- Ooh, ooh, time to go burn in the fucking woods. About to burn the trees while we with the trees. About to burn the trees. Oh, and the Yes. Time to go to the woods, bitches. Yeah. My nigga Lorenzo <laughs> and the Benzo. Yeah. yeah I you about to jump in? You about to jump in? Yep. Do it. Birdo with the turda. I can't even burn with y'all. Hey, you're taking bites out of it. Like all the time. I love this song too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you like a gangster. <laughs> so yeah, I'm the G on the block. I beat up all the bitches that come around talking shit. Oh my god. That's true. Still put We're just in the hood basically. Yeah. And the chill. Video, like the Bobby Shimoda video, like when you're in the hood. Bro, my favorite one right now, Migo. Yeah, I need a lighter. The walk it. What is it? For blazing number. Oh, you need a lighter? Yeah.
Dip on us? I don't know. I think she fucking did dip. <laughs> Where? In front of us. Oh, I see her. You guys, I'm in Paris right now. I am in Paris. It's pretty warm. You have outdone yourself with this wax blunt majigger. Make sure you guys sleep really good tonight, you know? Oh man, I'm gonna sleep till <laughs> tomorrow I night. Wait. Oh. I used to love this song. That's all on there. First time I heard this, I was like, oh wait. Oh. Lord. This is a song. Yes, bitch, you seen it, right? It's 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. Oh, oh, god. Dang. It's lit. All right, I started off with a fork, <laughs> but I found a spoon. John said, fuck it. I'm going with a half a cup measurement. Ren said, don't fucking judge me. <laughs> <laughs> All while under the moon. How did Bunsen Brunch even start? Mm -hmm. You don't remember because you passed out. Remember that? <laughs> So yeah, anyways, oh man, shout out to all the guests that we've had on this show. Man, we have so many guests. We uh, knocked out 14 episodes, y'all. 14. Oh, I feel so good about it, man. Shout out to Chaz Carter and Niles Abstin. They was on the pilot episodes. My brother's right there. Budget. I mean, y'all just shit. I like Wait, bagels don't come with cream cheese. Am I won them already. Was I, am I bougie for expecting a fruit platter or some shit? <laughs> I mean, watermelon and pineapple. That was, was bad. Yeah, I could have brought a thing of bananas if you're talking about some. See, I thought about getting bananas too, but I was like, what? Mm -hmm. they, what? They just feel like somebody got to tell them to do something. Yep. <laughs> if you wanted bananas, nigga, bring the bananas. Your grandma taught you that shit. You know. Don't black, yeah, I, was, no. I was gonna say, don't black people love saying like, damn, man, I could, I should have brought some. Don't talk about <laughs> it. You weren't gonna bring nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't lying, man, that. You let your dad wallet in the car. Don't talk about it. Don't stop lying. <laughs> don't come for channel 310 if you're not going to provide me. That's all I'm saying. A lot of people love saying that. That's like our favorite thing to say when we go to a party and there ain't no food there. Man, I, I, I should have brought... Y'all should have told me. I, I should have brought some chicken. Nigga, you weren't going to bring no right. chicken. Right. I should have brought a bag of chicken right. some goddamn right. cheese right. Doritos. All right, shut up, Keisha. You know what? Were you going to invite it? I had right. some leftovers at the house. I would have brought it with the kids. That was, that was really fun. Uh, then, on the second episode, we had Mary Basmanji and the funny Armenian girl. Remember when she was talking about DMing? Sliding niggas DMs, getting dick pics. That shit was fucking hilarious. Oh! When he whips it out, but you weren't ready. Oh, shit. So you be getting them as, uh, <laughs> mysterious dick pics, huh? Listen, you, it you was... getting them unsolicited Brockworths in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, one can only wish. Are you kidding me? Nobody sends me anything. I even have a fucking joke about it. Oh. They still don't send it to me. <laughs> the only people that fucking send it live in, like, Pakistan or like <laughs> Turkmenistan, like I can't do shit with that. You know what I mean? Dropping missiles in your DM. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> took a trip to Arizona. I uh, got some shows for us to do for a weekend. Uh, yeah, uh, the kitchen makes me meal because meat meal in the kitchen home cook. Recipes get tough, get to the field. That ain't it. Hairy as fuck. Ugh. Nigga. How you feel about that, Darren? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
rob you no more. But he wants to rob my other friend, so he put the gun to his face. He's like, so what's your name, homeboy? And that's when my homie's like, my name is Juan, but the homies on the streets call me Isabella. <laughs> And that was a good time. And I had on Dora, on her Dora Badass, had on Tammy, Tammy Taylor. I mean, I mean, I fuck up her name because that time I fucked her name up and she was not having that shit. I mean, <laughs> this is Dora, aka Chill. What's up? This is Tammy, Tammy Too Much Taylor. <laughs> Trailer. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna correct that. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> and we got my boy Nathan Mendoza. Right? I got it right okay, man. See, not all people that smoke weed be forgetting shit, you know what I mean? And we also have my man Bobby Johnson pop in for a little bit. Shout out to Bobby. What are we smoking on? Uh, get some I think banter. we smoking on some Kim Dog. Strong Indica. Indica? Indica. Yeah. No sativa? sativa. No sativa. No sativa, man. I'm gonna have to roll with y'all. Who Guilty. said it was a placebo? Darren. <laughs> it makes you think of stupid shit. <laughs> like Flat Earth Theory. <laughs> he DJs a lot of shows and produces a lot of shows out in Arizona on comedy shows. And he does a lot of events too. We actually, On that episode, we actually had vegan brunch. We had vegan chicken and waffles. That shit was fire. Saucing. Saucing. Well, syruping, really, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm saucing. Chicken and waffles. Yeah. Vegan style. Vegan style, vegan style. In episode four, we have my man, Victor Martinez, who is also the host of Hi Tonight Show, which I was just on, and god damn it, that shit was fun as fuck. I was only supposed to do like 10 minutes of stand up, but I ended up doing 20. They just, the audience wanted me to do 20, so I fucking did. <laughs> you know, I think black people don't really know about credit because our parents don't want to, you know, tell us as kids because they're using our names on the show. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I don't want this nigga to get any bright ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to watch cable TV, nigga. Goddamn. You could be clean for your ass. You better get this cable on your ass, better, nigga. Fucking shit up out here. I love it, man. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> oh, shit. Hating ass, bitch. So, yeah, man. And he also runs Garage Mike at the same location. It's a dope ass fucking place. Shout out to Victor. Another one. Another <laughs> one. DJ Khaled. Oh no. Go ahead, do it, do it. Fuck, man. What are you doing? What is that? What is, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. What's that super <laughs> Episode 5. My girl, V. Courtney Banks. This episode was fucking crazy. Party of the year. Party of the fucking year. I think we shot this the day after her party too. Was the next day? Pretty much. I think it was, it was that week. For sure. That week, yeah. Oh my God, this, look at the clips. This shit was so turned up. The lovely, the beautiful, and the hilarious Courtney Banks. Hey, can I get a, can I get a three piece chicken wing with fries? With fries? Oh, I feel like saying the Courtney Banks because that's what it says on her Instagram. It's like really official. Put some respect on her name when you, when you said her name. We're gonna talk about uh, talk about her, get to know her. She just had a birthday this past week, and let me tell you, the party was lit as fuck, y'all. Like, <laughs> Drink a bad bougie. I'm always hanging with shooters. I be pulling some webs and gluing. See you in the red with pots and pans. Come and break over the tuning. Roll with us and come and boom it. Roll with us and come and boom it. That shit was crazy. Excuse me, Martin. You see what blacks and Jews can do together? Fucking amazing. <laughs> All right, episode six, we had my homegirl, Michelle Stevenson. She is a little fucking firecracker. I swear to God, y'all. She was so high on this fucking episode. Okay, you guys. So, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> white people thing, which is smoking out of vapes. <laughs> you need to wait a week before you smoke again. Yeah, like, dude. Episode seven, we had the one and only Lindsay Jennings. She is so diverse. She's cool as fuck. Suicide girl. Man, she's on tour right now with the damn Suicide Girls. She's doing uh, comedy, dancing. Does she rap out there? Like she does in the videos and stuff? Oh yeah, she does rap, rap, sing. Oh, she, she is talented as fuck. Hella cool too. Her blunt roll skills, though, a little on the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
vibes. <laughs> she gotta put that elbow down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm move, these, uh, move these up real quick, you know what I'm saying? You want me to help? Roll. Yeah, Lindsay can. Lindsay can actually roll. I can. Uh, I can vouch. You can. Yes. I don't remember. <laughs> Lindsay has a very unorthodox blunt rolling style. What? <laughs> like you do? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> 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 Yeah, Eric fucked up by <laughs> vouching for me too soon. Yeah, I, mean, I don't understand what's so weird about it. It was like your left elbow was up above your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lefty. She, she just rolls that's her one southpaw. Why. It's just that. That's, that's you know. it. Yeah, I'm just southpawing. <laughs> oh, that looks good. It's fine. It's like you know, I don't roll them pretty, perfectly pretty, but they smoke great. Perfectly pretty. Perfectly pretty. Oh, I dropped some ash in the ranch, but. Oh okay. no. I'll get, I'll get it out. You eat it? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, we eat ash all the time, brother. Mm -hmm. Shit. People eat ash. Do you eat ash? Sometimes. <laughs> Episode 8. Man, we had the hilarious, precious haul, y'all. Man, she country as hell. I love that shit. She cool as fuck, man. <laughs> She's a cheerleader. You know, no disrespect to cheerleading. It is a sport, y'all. It's a fucking sport. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect cheerleading. So did, did you play any sports or was it just, just cheerleading? Uh, cheerleading is a sport. Fuck you. Nah, and true, hey, motherfuckers, true. I was trying to do that. That is shit. true. That is true. Nah, I was just a cheerleader. But when they just want to work scared and bust some jumps and shit. Hey. <laughs> 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 nah, I never did bad flips. Don't you know what I did used to do before I even knew I was a comedian and it was dumb. And one time I got in trouble for this shit. I would make all the cheerleaders like back up like at the basketball game. We cheer and shit and they would all back up and I'd be on the end like I'm finna run and hit this motherfucking shit. Like I'm finna really run and hit the shit and up. Uh, and like I pull up and cut a challenge and go, uh, ah! <laughs> 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 I love weird shit, like really trippy. I got in trouble for this shit and I had to sit down and have a game. You did? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that shit used to be entertaining as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just retarded, but <laughs> Episode nine, we had my, my, my dogs I grew up with. My homeboy T Dog. <laughs> my dogs. <laughs> and we have my homeboy Wheezy. Wheezy Hambone. These are my niggas both from Pacoima, same city. We've been through a lot of shit. She was hella fun, man. I had an old lady tell me. I just sucked the air out of tire. I <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Guess what? I'm trying to make it home, bitch, so don't touch my tire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did you hear your grandma? Get your grandma. Kind of tired of it. Put that one on up. Episode 10. My big bro, Butter Man. Y'all, this dude, this dude has taught me a lot, man. He motivates me and he keeps me on the grind, man. He always listen to you with game. Welcome my special guest, my good friend, my homie, Butter Man. What up, bro? I'm happy to be here, man. Finally. <laughs> yo, let me tell you, I fired my whole team because I was like, yo, why the hell, yo, all three got a show. <laughs> you my homie. Why am I not on your shit? <laughs> Disrespectful comedy shit. I'm sorry, man. I just, I've been getting bombarded. Like, uh, uh, I know it was episode 10. So it's a special yes, joint. It's special, a joint. Special, special, special episode, episode That's what's man. Up. Special, special episode. So. Yo, for real, for real, man. I, I'm proud of you, man. This is a dope platform, man. Thanks, man. Hard to hustle, putting that content out. I'm learning from you, you know, man. You don't wait for anybody to put you on your shit. Mm -hmm. You make your own shit. You don't wait for nobody to, to, to put you on. Everybody out here, LA, be on this crazy, waiting for the put you on ferry to fly in your window and sprinkle yep. and put you mad. on dust all over you. They be mad at it's the not world. happening. It's no. not happening. You gotta Word put up. yourself on, man. Episode 11, the hilarious Mike Menendez, y'all. This dude is funny as hell. He got a little too high. Oh, yeah. Mike did get a little too high, y'all. He got a little. I gave him, he, he loved the can ain't, though. He loved the can ain't. Look, a little too much, though. <laughs> How you feel from the can ain't, man? It's good, man. It's really, really good. You feel the chillness, the relaxation? I'm figuring, yeah. I'm figuring a lot out. I, mean, I was actively listening and actively working on my life at the same time. <laughs> it was like, oh, we can multitask, yeah. Definitely. Just because we're listening to someone doesn't mean we can't better ourselves to it. Tell me we can't build our lives. <laughs> Episode 
12, we have my special guest, Patrice DeVoe. She stays out in Virginia. Real, real funny girl. Hella cool. That episode's hilarious, man. Yeah, and we are back. Back with my special guest, Patrice DeVoe. How y'all doing out there? Blunts and brunch. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blunts going on. A lot of <laughs> the blunts. The brunch isn't bad either. <laughs> how, do you, how do you like the uh, taste of the candy with the orange juice? Oh, it was a good combination. Mm -hmm. I like what it's doing inside of my body, though. Yeah. <laughs> How you real relaxed. I see you relaxed, though. You took your shoes off, got your, you yeah. got your legs crossed. You know, I might make myself at home. I feel mm -hmm. like oh, yeah. Home. Yeah, definitely <laughs> make yourself at home. That's when I was around Eric's friend, and that nigga was on acid. That was weird. Why? How do I access him? How do I figure out his fucking flaw? Oh, through his daughter, through his fucking fucked up rituals. They have IVs and these meetings where they have this drug where they forget every single time. Okay. And then he goes through that. I'm going, okay. I'm going to tell you everything you spill out. But what, little you know that Watson was following and trying to, because he knew that Sherlock was in danger. And then because Sherlock's calculations were correct. And Watson came to save him and caught him in the act of almost killing Sherlock. So, boom. Because that one, that, that's what they call like extreme knots to blow out the system. Blow out the mind. <laughs> If you blow out your ser serotonin canisters, then it's gonna be fried and you're just gonna be a fucking zombie for the rest of your life. That's what I say to people about ecstasy. That's what, no. And he sends his local clubs and fills up an amoeba. So then later on, any other sugars you take in, you'll have more, like, you'll have more tolerance that your body's shutting down, like, 20 minutes after just having sugar. Or your, 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 um, your urine tastes sweet. Episode 13, we had John A. Thompson and Angelica Mackey. I feel like they're my sisters, like real shit. That shit was so fun. We talked about church. I got a little too high. I'm fucking Ashton and Jellica's couple on accident. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, I love you, girl. <laughs> we caught you with that look, too. That look of, oh shit. Like, Ooh, my, 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 my dad. dad. Sheila e. Yeah, like, but see, Sheila E was more, was more girly, more. Fat. I wasn't like that, you know? I was like the time boy. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's. That's. I mean, man. You're going to tell you to try oh, man. I'll, I'll be right back. Man. I'll be right back. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I asked the blood in your juice. Oh, <laughs> shit. See, that's what hides. <laughs> wow. See, my love. Uh, <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> that, <laughs> get your ass off the drugs. I, I fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 14. Had my cousin Jalen Jamel and my homeboy Roger Lopez. We'll get started when you. Bro, Yo, man, I'm fucking having difficulties. You are over there, dog. Mm -hmm. Lick it. Put the shit together. What are you trying to do it off, dog? <laughs> just, just lick, lick it. Yo, lick it. Put the shit together. I got, I got this part where I got 50% of it. It looks great, man. Just say you ain't like sealed the deal. It's like a girl's butt naked and you ain't pulled your pants down yet. Hurry up, nigga. Pull your pants up. Get the shit ready. Get going. Wait, bitch. My, my shit's a little loose. I ain't fully hard yet. It's not as hard as I want it to be. Yeah. yeah. That's how I wanted it to be. Don't think this is all you get. <laughs> shit. Right, we good? Yeah, we're good, dude. Press me the lighter, please. To get oh, you got to dry this shit up, you know? Yeah, you don't want my hepatitis, man. Hepatitis. I, I, I don't want it. I, I, I be scared. I, 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 I. All right. Ready, dude. Jalen created the theme song for Blunts and Brunch, Still Water, which is so dope. And he actually performed that song at the High Tonight Show recently. And he killed that shit. Everybody loved it, man. <laughs> I'm 
cut him to the bottom. LA may be bad, but still water. Man's no peace, disease, still water. One tree to die, that's crazy, still water. Air still free, so we still water. LA may be bad, but still water. Still water. LA may be bad, but still water. Still water. Put your hands up. Sorry, I can't buy them, but I'm a smoking till my time's so up. Light a night, so pour me more in my cup. I'ma hold your line up. <laughs> Yeah, so season one was dope. Um, you know, I really want to give a big shout out to Canade for sponsoring this show. This 420 actually will be a year that I've had a relationship with them, y'all. That's this is the best relationship of my fucking life. And I didn't get no pussy out of it. Fuck. It's fuck I fucking I, just, I love it. Canade is a medical mixer. It's a THC syrup that you can drink straight. You can put on fruit. You can also add it into your drinks. I don't do it with alcohol though. That's a little bit too much turning up for me though. I usually put it in lemonade or some type of soda or any type of juice. Pour at your own risk, okay? Because it is strong, okay? You might talk to Jesus for like 20, 30 minutes. I've seen it happen. It's delicious though. Man, one of the best vulnerable mixers out there, one of the best THC serves that you will find. Follow them on Instagram, look them up on Weed Maps. Make sure you get out there and you go copy some. And then let me know how you like it. Put a picture on Instagram, tag them, tag me. Hashtag Buns and Merch. So it's been so dope rocking with you guys through this first season. 14 fucking episodes. Season two is going to be more brunchier and more bluntier. I don't even know if that's a real fucking word, but I'm going to make the shit fucking happen. They cut my food stamps down to $15 a month, so we're going to see about the brunchier part. <laughs> I might need some funding. I think I'm going to set up a GoFundMe or some shit like that. I don't know. Venmo, something. White people, help. Help me. You know, I need to have more white guests on here too, so I can like uh, have some dabs or some shit. They got this like THC shit that you can like snort. I'm not gonna do it. I just wanna have somebody on the show who would do it. I know it's gonna be a white dude, so hit me up in my DMs. Follow me at Comedian Arthur. And also I created a Blunts and Brunch page. Follow at Blunts underscore and underscore brunch. And make sure you follow Channel 310. On Instagram is TV, huh? Mm -hmm. Channel 310 TV. And go subscribe to the YouTube page right now. We got some hot shit. We got Small Talk with Lila Hart. We got Hot Tonight Show hosted by Victor Martinez. We have Secret Black People Meeting hosted by Niles Abstin. We got Chelsea Grow on Secret Black People Meeting do a segment. Also, we have Yemma. I don't even know his fucking last name. He should just only have a first fucking name. Yemma on Secret Black People Meeting as well doing the blue pill. We got some hot shit, man. And everybody that's on our channel, even fucking Eric, our fucking director, every fucking body is hilarious. And we all gonna make it, y'all. So just ride along with us, because I'm telling you, it's gonna be a fun fucking ride. I appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned. Nigga, pick her up here, you know what I'm saying? They got me drinking tonight. I don't usually be drinking and shit, you know. I got a breathalyzer in my car, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be looking at me when that thing start beeping. They be like, uh, nigga, what is that, a car phone? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an old one Corolla with a car phone. <laughs> <laughs> When did they make those, my nigga? Is that custom? Is, did you get that custom out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then I got a blow in the shit, and man, niggas just be, they always make eye contact with me and shit like that. <laughs> <sighs> you done fucked up in life, huh? <laughs> I shouldn't even be in your passenger seat. Yeah. Make sure you stay tuned for the season two premiere of Blunt's Brunch with Arthur Hamilton. We're having the two hosts of our two newest shows on the Channel 310 Network. We got Lila Hart, from Small Talk with Lila Hart. And we have Victor Martinez, who's the host of High Tonight Show. Lila is sober, 
So we're going to have to smoke extra weed, me and Victor. We're going to see who gets the highest. And there's going to be candidate involved too, so I think it's going to be Victor. The last time I gave him some candy, that food was lit. It's going to be a fun season, man. I look forward to rocking with you guys. I appreciate the love and the support. Let's get it, guys, man. That ass, nigga, that's really about to everything. They can't really write to this shit, though. That trail shit. Yeah. I roll the turf on my niggas and stacking my meals with. I ain't playing my day, my nigga. What you got to go deal with? It's the afternoon, I'm trying to get high till I can't feel shit. Shit, I thought it was the morning. One o'clock, a nigga yawning. Flashbacks to last night was mad nice. We've had life, get sure the a little act right. I mean, she was.